Okay, I want to show you this problem I've just noticed in Back to the Future 3. Now he's got a gun, right? And when Tannen and his goons come in, they haven't got their weapons. But this bloke has access to a lot of firearm at the moment. But he uses a frisbee. He could have kept the gun. And yeah, shot Tannen. I think if he shot Tannen, he probably would have got hung. Back in the 1800s. Before he was born. I know your ancestors are going to be principals. We all were, weren't we, boys? Yeah, right. Your knife, too. Smart, Marshall. After all, this is a party. The only party I'll be smiling at. But then again, wouldn't he be glad that Marty shot Tannen? He had a live firearm, for God's sakes. I can't get over that. A cold peacemaker. maker. Crypto is a better name like Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, well, a couple people didn't like the way the other one Tannen only has a derringer. And Marty had access to a cult peacemaker. Is that so from Philadelphia? Nah. No, it's not. That was just a joke. Sorry. Like I already said, it, um, this bloke had access to a fucking, 
a forearm. You man enough to back him up with more than just a pipe plate? Look, just leave my friends alone. What's wrong, dude? You yell! He could have taken that coat piece maker gun and yeah, shot Tannen in the head just there. Right there and then. But he chose his a goddamn frisbee. Nobody calls me yellow. Let's finish it right now. Uh, done after you for that. Marshall's got our guns. Like I said, we'll finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow we're robbing the Pan City stage. Monday, we're doing anything Monday. No, Monday be fine. You kill him on Monday. I'll be back this way on Monday. Settle this thing. Right there. Down the street. In front of the palace alone. Get ready. When? There's too much red dead redemption. I do my killing before breakfast. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. I do my killing after breakfast. We got eight. All right, now break it up. What's all this about? You causing trouble here, Tannen? In trouble, Marshal. Just a little personal matter between me and Eastwood. It still concerns the law. Tonight, everything concerns the law. Now break it up. Any brawling, it's 15 days in the county jail. All right, folks, come on. This is a party. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> Shoot you down like a dog. It's dog, Buford. Shoot him down like a dog. That's so, boys! Thank God. This is happening, boy! Marty, what are you doing? Say you're gonna be tattered. Hey, Doc, Doc, don't worry about it. Monday morning, 8 a.m., we're gonna be gone, right? Theoretically, yes, but what if the train's late? Hey, we'll discuss this later. Thank you for your gallantry. It's okay. Hey, here's the problem. I'll show you. You had access to that? And you didn't just take that gun? And the cop beat. Peacemaker could have shot him there and then. God. That's not an A5 for you. Thanks again. 